Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to solve this given equation that involves fourth root radicals and eventually we're going to check our answer for any extraneous solution as well. One thing just keep in your mind that this fourth root radical has an index 4 that small 4 you can see. And here is the example I just put it down. So this is the fourth root of an A. So index is going to be this small 4. And one more thing, the fourth root of an A could be written as A power 1 over 4. In other words, the left hand side is a radical notation and the right hand side is an exponential notation. So both are same. Now we want to solve this given equation. So the very first thing we need to do is we need to isolate this radical. So we must subtract 5 from both hand side. So this 5 and negative 5 cancels out. So we ended up fourth root of x plus 18 turns out to be equal to negative 2. Now we want to undo this fourth root, this fourth radical. So we will be taking the power 4 on both sides. Take the power 4 on this side and take power 4 on this side as well. So what happens is this power 4 and fourth root, they undo each other. We ended up x plus 18 turns out to be equal to negative 2 power 4. You multiply negative 2 four times. So that's going to give you 16. Now we want to isolate x. So I'm going to subtract 18 from both sides. So this cancels out. x turns out to be negative 2 as our solution. And one more thing, just keep in your mind the if you have a fourth root and you take a power 4, that would be same as that a. And now finally we want to check our answer for any extraneous solution. So what that means is wherever you see x in this original equation, replace it by x equal to negative 2 and see what happens. So this is what we're going to do. So fourth root and x is negative 2 plus 18 and then plus 5 question mark. Is it equal to 3? Now you can see this negative 2 plus 18 gives us 16 with the fourth root plus 5 equal to question mark equal to 3. And now you can see this fourth root of 16 is of course 2 plus 5 question mark is it equal to 3 and by the way this is the fact that we used to get this one the fourth root of 16 that turns out to be 2. So finally 2 plus 5 is 7 on the left hand side and right hand side is 3. Now my question is are they same? The answer is no this statement is obviously false. So this means that x equals to negative 2 is an extraneous solution. So that really means the conclusion is we don't have any real solution. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.